As pristine as Alaska's Prince William Sound looks now, it still carries the scars of one of the worst man-made environmental disasters in North America. Just after midnight, March 24, 1989, the Exxon Valdez, with its load of 53 million gallons of crude oil, veered off course, striking Bly Reef, gushing an estimated 10.8 million gallons of thick, toxic crude oil. Rick Wade was the first diver on scene ordered to patch the crippled supertanker, something that proved impossible. Nobody realized that the ship, how close the ship was to coming apart. It almost broke in half, which would have caused it to roll. It would have rolled right there and it'd still be out there. They never would have got it out. The oil smeared the Alaskan shoreline, killing between 100,000 and 250,000 seabirds, about 3,000 sea otters and 300 harbor seals. Add to that an unknown number of salmon and Pacific herring. But some species have finally rebounded. Prior to the oil spill, the uh, otter population was extremely high. And I think they're back again. Fishing communities were also hard hit. The bottom dropped out of the price of fish and spill cleanup work eventually stopped. There's resentment, sure. Exxon said they would make us well. Their mouth was moving. If you'd been around, you knew they were lying. While salmon are now plentiful and shrimp are slowly coming back, the same can't be said for crab or herring. But some local officials say there are positives. Better prevention and response efforts for oil spills, use of double-hulled oil tankers and longer tanker escorts. Courtesy of the Exxon Valdez, a generation of Americans equate environmental catastrophe with oil-soaked sea otters and seabirds. 25 years later, oil is still found on some island beaches just beneath the surface. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.